back to Cascadia Kayak Angler. Today I'm at Wapato Lake targeting uh, yellow perch. There's some really nice sized fish in this lake. Um, but also using these same techniques we'll probably be catching a variety of other species including bluegill, rainbow trout, and other sunfish species. Um, just using a real simple technique today. It's just drop shotting. I got a small lead weight above a suspended uh, size 4 hook which I got a trout magnet on and a small piece of night crawler. And you just drop this into the bottom, down to the bottom, um, anywhere from 10 to 30 feet of water, and you can catch these species. The perch tend to be a little bit shallower this time of year in the fall, whereas the rainbows are deeper. But as we transition into winter, um, those two species will trade places, and the rainbows uh, trout will be found shallow and the perch will be found deep. So I'm just using the electronics to locate schools of fish, casting out, letting that fall to the bottom. And then once it makes contact with the bottom, um, I let it uh, sit there still for motionless for a little bit uh, before I add a little, impart a little action onto it. So there I've made contact with the bottom couple twitches of the rod. There's a bite. And there we go, fish on. Not a big one, but you gotta sort through the the fish to find the big ones. Yeah it does. There's some fish. Feels like a better one. Feels like a nice fish. Yeah, it's a decent perch. Nice. It's a decent 10 or 11 inch perch. So these perch will school up, but those schooled fish tend to be smaller in size, usually in that 6 to 10 inch range. Whereas when they get bigger, they seem to kind of roam around on their own. So you can target the schools for, um, you know, really fast action. But if you want to pick up the bigger fish, it's better, better to move away from those schools and cast out. And then, you know, lift your rod, sort of Pied Piper technique, working that drop shot rig back to you. Every once in a while, pausing it, letting it sit still. Giving it a little action and letting it sit still again. And then bring it closer. And just working uh, an area like that systematically, looking for those bigger fish. And like I said, if you get bored, you can always go back, locate those, there's a good bite, locate those schools of smaller fish and you get more consistent action, but a smaller average size. Let's get a grab. I didn't take it. There we go. Fish on. Gotcha. Right, let's get some blood for the camera. So you do need to be careful when handling these perch. They do have sharp spines on the back of the operculum and um, on their fins. That's why they call them spiny rays. Right, sit. Nice. Now you'll find two launches uh, on Wampato Lake. A state launch on the east end of the lake and a private launch on the west end. Another nice perch. The private launch costs two dollars um, but uh, it's really nice uh, on this west end of the lake that private launch gives you access easy access to these flats where these perch congregate the lake itself uh, closes October 31st and then reopens in April and it's stocked with rainbow trout um, every year so it's a great multi-species lake destination 
There we go. Here we shall. Too late this one. Another nice fish. Now there's no limit and no minimum size on yellow perch, so you can take home barrels of uh, fish and they make excellent fish tacos. Uh, Mark can just be fried up for a fish fry and Sidra right here. She makes a really awesome uh, Vietnamese dish with a uh, crisp Vietnamese crispy fish, which I'll post in the link below. This is the private launch, and the other launch is on the eastern end of the lake, um, straight that way. I think we're gonna get ourselves some beer and say goodbye. Ciao. Food. <laughs> Food.